Uh, hi, so recently I've been looking uh, around for lots of resources dealing with general ability and uh, thinking skills as it's going to be called soon. And I've been looking a lot at mental arithmetic type resources because uh, mental calculation is something I really focus on in my own teaching of thinking skills, in particular, you know, solving patterns. Uh, so I found this book, which gives you a test and I uh, wanted to give you a bit of a display of how advantageous it can be being quite fast at mental arithmetic. So this test, they give you 30 questions. Uh, you're supposed to do it all mentally. You have 45 minutes. Now I haven't done the questions, but I did have a quick look ahead to see you know, how hard they got at the end. Uh, they don't get very hard at all. And actually this is really uh, kind of depressing that you would think it would take anyone 45 minutes to do these 30 questions relying only mentally. And they give a bit of a preamble here where they say people are not as good at mental calculation anymore because they rely on calculators and computers. So let's penalize me by a couple of minutes, all right? Because I did look ahead to see how hard uh, the questions got, but I'll start the test in a minute. And you, you can maybe have uh, let your child have a look at these questions too and see how you think they would go. Now they start off very easy. So I'm at a minute 30 in the video now. So let's see how long it takes me uh, to finish from there. All right, nine times eight, 72. 126 divided by three, that's 42. All right, I know that, you know, divide the 12 by three, four, six by three, two. 15 multiplied by 11, one, six, five. I would say 15 times 10 plus another 15. 45, oops, skip the page, 45% of 300. It's just 45 times three, 135. 45, 90, 135. Uh, oops, seven divided by 12 is 84, divided by six, 14. All right, so if you know your basic times tables, it's very easy. Divide 56 by eight, that's seven, and add 17, 24. All right, 35% of 250. So again, I would times by two and a half, that's 70, it's 87.5, all right? So that's a reasonably hard one. I'll use another method to check that. I'll go 10% uh, 25, 20% 50, 30% 75, another 5% is 12 and a half, yeah, it is 87.5. All right, five eighths of 240. All right, divide 240 by eight gives you 30 times five, 150. Multiply 15 by six, 90, subtract 29, 61. All right, and most of these answers, I don't even really need to think about them. All right, the one where there was a decimal, you know, a half involved, I did have to think about it a little bit. All right, three quarters of 92 divided by 92 by four, so you're halving it twice, 46, 23, times three, 69, plus uh, 13, 82. And multiply seven by four, 28. Uh, all right, so you've got to do three multiplications here, all right? Seven by four is 28, 28 by six is 168. All right, so I did 20 by six, 120 plus six times eight, 48, 168. Divide 52 by four, 13. Add 17 multiplied by three. All right, so you've got to do the order of operations here. So this is 13 plus 51, which is 64. All right, well, this one's a little bit hard, 3,206. All right, so I would go up to uh, 40 times seven would be 280, so 400 times seven would be 2,800. What does that leave us with? 406, that'll be 50 times seven, 300, so it'll be 58. So what was that, 458? Okay, I did not see that one. Yeah, that one's obviously a little bit harder. The reason division is harder than multiplication is even though it's the inverse, I don't do it as much. So let me just check that one in my head again to see that I'm right. 400 times seven is 2,800. Uh, 50 times seven is 358 times seven is 56. Yeah, that works. All right, 30, 40, 58, 83. That's a very easy one. 55% of 320. All right, so 50's, 50 is 50% is 160. 5% will be another 16, so it's 176. 5 ninths of 270. All right, divide 270 by 9, 30 times 5, 150, which is greater, 5 eighths. All right, 112 divided by 8, so that'll be 14, because I know 15 times 8 would be 120. So 5 over 8 is 70. 
seven eight uh, that's uh, eight, 88 divided by 8 11 times 7 77 so uh, that's great uh, 7 8 so that's 77 to 70 uh, 56 83 to 17 29 all right I might uh, this is two ways I could add the 1700 first I'll do that that's 7383 add the 29 7412 divide by 2 3706 I'll check some of these uh, after I do it that should be right let me do it the other way let me add 29 to that so it's 57 12 uh, plus 17, 74, 12, yeah, 3706. All right, divide 672 by 12, that'd be 56, because I know 600 divided by 12 would be 50, because 12 times 50 is 656. Subtract 369, all right, let's take the 300 off, 950, let's take the 69 off, 881. All right, add two fifths of 90, so 90 divided by 5 is 18, two fifths 36. Uh, 13 so that'll be 101 all up this will be 65 divide 78 by 6 13 65 72 by 15 oh, it's, this is a really easy one for me the way I do it I just do 72 times 10 plus 72 times 5 so it's a thousand and eighty see how it's a nice round number this is this is a problem I see a lot of kids have that, that when they're doing uh, questions dealing with numbers with geometry like 720 is two revolutions so you should know that pretty well and you should know a half of that will be 360 will be one revolution All right what is 8 40th expressed as a decimal at 0 0.2 or 20 percent uh deduct 865 from once so 135 plus 63 198 Right. Oh, this is a bit bigger calculation, 694 times 11, so times 10 add a 0, 6940 plus 694, so we've got 7634. Uh, multiply 86 by 9, that'll be 8 times 9, 72, 720, 774, and add uh, 13 times 6, so 774 plus 78, 852. What is a thousand less five ninths of 117? All right, so divide 117 by nine, it's 13. 13 times nine is 117. So five ninths is 65. A thousand less 65, nine, three, five. All right, decimals. Uh, the way I often do this in my head is I think of it as money. All right, it makes it easier for me to visualize. So $5.90 plus $6.80, that'll be $11.90, $12.70. Plus 734, 1970, 20.04. Let me just check that one. 713, 18, 17, 204. Yeah, 20.04. Right, deduct 7.3. All right, so take the 7 off, 27.2. Take off the 0 0.3, 26.9. All right, last question. Oh, this looks like the hardest one. Uh, decimal again. Again, I could think about it as money. $6.85. I'll get 6 times 7 is 42. 85 cents times. 7, that'll be 565.95, so it should be 47.95. Right, and I'd be taking off uh, 47, yeah, dollar oh five from 49, right, because 15 times 7, 15 cents times 7 would be a dollar oh five. So 49 minus a dollar oh five uh, should be 47.95. Is that what I said before? I'm pretty sure I did. All right, I think it took me about six or seven minutes, and I was doing it slower than I would, uh, you know, do it if I was doing a test because I was trying to explain to you what I was doing. So um, that seems to me to be just completely ridiculous that it would take 45 minutes to solve that. I mean, what would I do for the rest of that time? And I know I'm pretty quick at this stuff, but... You know, I'm, I don't think I'm that much of an outlier that, you know, everyone else is going to be taking another 35 to 40 minutes to finish that test. But maybe you can let me know in the comments what you think.